Hi folks, it's John Eisen from LastChanceAutoRestore.com. Uh, just a quick update for you. I'd like to share with you how we're making out with the chassis. This is the 78 Volkswagen Super Beetle convertible that we're doing a complete ground up restoration or in the Volkswagen world we refer to as a pan off restoration. So this is Winnie, the convertible special edition. Um, in the last video that we had, uh, we shared with you where we had, we had epoxied and painted the whole chassis. Uh, and then I had mentioned the next step is we're going to be working on the brakes and the axles and we had all new components and brake lines so we now have all of the new brakes done so we've replaced the axle seal the axle bearings with the proper German seal kit because it's very common uh, for the Volkswagen the end of those axles for the bearings to be worn and we've done quite a bit of media blasting so we wanted to make sure that everything was sealed properly and we didn't have any grease in, inside that axle housing. Um, so those were all, the, the original seals and gaskets were all worn and there was hot spots in the bearing. So we replaced all that with a refresh kit. And then we went ahead and we made all new brake lines. So we can see, uh, it's quite dusty here, I apologize, but you can see we have our new junctions. There's quite a bit of water um, this car sat for a long period of time, so we had a lot of rust and, and so on between all of the brake lines and the old master cylinder. So we've made our own lines, um, we've replaced these the T and the junction fitting with brand new Volkswagen uh, brass fittings. You can see we have new hardware, new flex lines, and then the, the new um, uh, metal lines. And then as you come across here, you'll see the main um, brake line that runs up the tunnel inside the vehicle and then comes up through to our new master cylinder. So we now have, because we're doing a, 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 a sorry, a disc brake conversion, this Volkswagen originally came with uh, four-wheel drum brakes. Uh, so we've, we've bought a, uh, or ordered a, an upgraded kit, so it's going to be a, a disc brake conversion kit for this Super Beetle. So by doing that, we replace the master cylinder with a little bit larger uh, cylinder uh, which will push more brake fluid um, for a better brake feel and it'll make the, the front rotor kit much happier. So we have the upgraded master cylinder, we put the new sensors in and then we also have the sound insulation package that we've just installed uh, earlier today. So just a, a, a brief little update, this chassis is coming along very nicely. So this is the 78 Volkswagen Super Beetle convertible. Um, our next step um, is uh, we're going to continue with rebuilding the engine and uh, the engine is about halfway built, a little over halfway. Um, so once we complete the engine build, uh, then we're going to install the engine to the transmission well, along with the, all the new clutch components. We're still going to be replacing the clutch cable and accelerator cable with brand new. And then once we have all that, we'll break the engine in on the chassis like this and then we have several components that we've ordered. We have the seal kit that's going to go between the body and the chassis and then we've, we've ordered several components for the front in terms of steering and suspension because this has the McPherson strut front suspension set up. Um, we've ordered the, um, the inserts for the struts because they're uh, seized and uh, have been leaking for quite some time. So just a, a nice update um, it's coming along quite nicely. This is Winnie and this is the uh, Super Beetle convertible. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.